Sophomore from Pasadena, the first Vegas athlete to compete in the Olympics in any sport. He's on the bronze medal basketball team, and now Blanton backs up field goals to keep the Tigers. Underrated ball player in this no, club Vegas in every doesn't shoot well, Billy. The coach points that out, and they haven't shot well here today. Sims coming away off the glass, and LSU pulls back to within one. Well, it has been there. Nobody put a body on it. It's that quick crossover dribble that Jackson uses. Getting in closer, and he hits his first field goal. Over the fact his club cannot throw it in the ocean for the foul line. Another good solid stream. Jackson is on the money and here comes the line. Pajewski with an excellent solid screen that time, and people have to start doing some talking because Jackson lead him alive on that play. Let me follow up on your free throw uh, story regarding. I'll get to that in just a second here, Billy. Watch the solid screen. Nobody switches out. Jones doesn't get there in time. And what makes Jackson so tough, he has unlimited range. He can pull up and take the jumper, and if you jump out at him on the jump switch, he'll go right on by. Now watch this free throw for him. This is beautiful. It sure is. You wonder how he ever misses one. Well, we're going to take a TV timeout. We come back, we've got an awkward-looking shot, wasn't it? Jackson brings it back down for the Tigers. It's inside. There's the jump shot. A leader. But this penetration is against the 2 3 matchup zone playing against Anthony, who is a fine defender, and he just hits the leaner with that soft touch and great concentration. Three again, but picking up the slack here. Anthony shot. throws up a miss. Jackson coming down, weaving his oh. way. You know what? He's so dangerous. You're going to see what I was talking about. Anthony realizes he has Jackson, but watch Jackson. He follows, in effect, the blockers. Young had his back turned right there, and you cannot afford to do that. Sims is a little tired out there having to move that big body up and down the court. Jackson spins, ties it. Nervous condition, which he treats with a drug. You might recall the great Elgin Baylor. He also suffered from Tourette's syndrome. Remember that little nervous tick he had when he approached the basket? Jackson, he is right on target for his 28. He had 14 in the first half. Billy? Well, Brent, I've always wanted to be John Madden. Here's following your blockers. Now, look at the defense. Now, what happens here? This guy gets boomed out. They go down, they get boomed out. And here comes that weaving play of Jackson following his blockers, just like a great running back on a kickoff. Here he comes. Now he sees his opening. Sorry, fellas, I'm going in here for a shot. Well played. This could be a big turnaround here. Two plus the technical and the ball out of bounds. LSU needed something because Vegas had seized command of this game for those who started the second half. We could wait all day if this guy gets in the rhythm on that foul line. <laughs> what did he hit in uh, high Just school? About 280 in that time, consecutive free throws when he was at Dolby Ogman. And the running Rebs have taken control of this one. Their biggest lead of the game. It does not count. Whistle blew earlier. And what Jackson did there, Brennan said, I'm not touching the ball in the offense, so he just took it off the dribble, went by Anthony, and through the zone. Some maneuver here. We're watching him in practice yesterday against Singleton, he practices getting that ball up against guys that are shot blocked. Still no solid screens for Jackson. sign of pain on his face that time. That's the first time here today that I've seen any indication of a problem. The ball gets tipped on the shot, so therefore he has the right to go get it back again. He slides on in the inside. He may have hurt his ankle yeah, a little bit. That's exactly right? what he did. He yep. retwisted it. That's why there was some pain on his face. Watch this right now when he comes down. Yep. Right there. Right there, yeah. Matter of fact, uh, that could have been a severe ankle injury. You step on somebody else's shoe. He scored 19 points, make it 20. He had 14, and he is limping. Now Anthony moves back on Jackson. Jackson, three. Now there was a solid stream by Blanton that got Jackson. Why? Pull up. Miss Byron winds up with Blanton, and it's an easy two for Jackson. 
Stacy Ogman has played a very, very good game today with the exception of that decision. Jackson on the weave gets free inside. 30 seconds to go. Jackson, the main man. Anthony watching him. Here's the three. No, it's a two. It's only a two, they call it. It's a one-point Vegas lead at 20 seconds. LSU has to foul now, and they jump out on Anthony. Mouton will foul him and put him on the line with 14 seconds to go. How many close threes have we had? Dale, now Dale Brown asking for the three. Let's see this one. Boy, he was right on that line when he, when he left the floor. He was behind the line. Now, let me point something out here. He was behind the line when he came down, but he was on the line when he went up, and that's where it counts. Two or four from the free throw line. He has missed both of his free throws this half. Las Vegas up by one, 14 seconds to go. Anthony does a smart thing. He was on the line, set to shoot. The officials did not hand him the ball. He backed off to get himself a nice, comfortable motion. He's shooting the front end. Big one. Now he can put the three-point pressure on Mr. Jackson again. Two. They get it to Jackson, and he oh, saves it with 10 seconds to go now. They'll have to hurry. It'll be Glenn with a three. He's got it. Three seconds to go. Vegas throws up a shot. No good. 